and in this video I'm going to show you a new way to uh, install mods and this method is actually very uh, simple when it comes to you know using other slots let's say you have a mod like um, maybe like any Omega or something and you want to install him let's say on top of the rock so this is tool that has come out is called uh, mod injector right and this tool what it does is it makes it easier for you now to install mods mostly on slots okay so you can see here when you open it we have a nice menu here you have the mods folder the mods folder is basically the folder that you will be using for your mods okay so for me now I have if I can just show you here this is where I put my mods okay currently uh, you can see it's empty but I used it before to change the slot of a belt okay so in this video I'll just be showing you how you can use it to you know install mods quickly and uh, uh, nice so the first thing you do after you open it is you'll have to click on edit uh, mods folder okay this is the folder that we'll be working on so for me I've set it correctly here give it a name and something and um, now I'm going to demonstrate this with uh, uh, you know, my shop. if you can just demonstrate it here see we have Scott Steiner let me just uh, try someone who's not in the game Pat McAfee right so extract him so as you can see here he has a different slot it's let's say it's replacing Eric Bischoff so the first method of course you can just say you know oh uh, sorry you can just copy and you can go here and just say paste okay so we've installed him if at all you know if it's okay to do that on the eric bishop slot but for this case if you want to change the slot now let's say i want to install him on the rock I'll just click here on the character because the character mode click inject a character mode uh, it will ask me to select some folders here so like this one the first one is the base model base model is the this folder inside of the character mode okay it has to be written uh, default attire this is that tire folder okay 939 and then if you have uh, you want to put maybe a custom name for their tire but, but for now we're not going to because it's not uh, you know like if you're doing alternate tires and stuff you can opt in to choose that but it's optional okay so we want to replace him let's say on a what if put the rock uh, so we we'll just browse onto the rock here and it'll ask me for the baked folder okay and I'll click inject simple as that when I open my folder here which is the one that I used to build, you'll find now it's renamed everything okay so instead of just working with different cakes because on the console you know now you have to refer to the base game files and stuff this tool makes it possible for you and it's more accurate because earlier on if you used to make a mistake like let's say I put the rock like this you know and assume everything is okay uh, it tool didn't work you know you just get the old model so with that there let me just fix that um that's done that's it um you can also use this for some gear effects Okay, just following the same procedure so long as you select the correct files okay and you can use it for the renders which is another thing that uh, someone asked about how to can you do the render stuff so it's simple so with me here I have some renders okay let's say the custom renders that I made and let's say I want to replace this one okay the one for Cody Rhodes so I'll click on render inject a render mode and it asked me for the DDS file so the DDS file is actually the render itself if you can remember um, let me click file name extensions yeah the renders that you inject need to be in DDS format for this to work so 
I'll click on to this uh, location and click Cody. Okay, render slot Cody Roads. Cody Roads. Big folder is the same one that we're working with and it says render injected. Okay, good. When we open back here, UI assets, you see it's created the folders for us for everything. And you can see it's renamed it superstars type a this exact same location so you don't have to worry about you know making mistakes or having to having the tedious process of uh, referring to other slots i mean other cake files so this is actually a nice tool that you can use however the problem that we have right now in the console is you know we have some new updates and uh, as you know new updates come with new contents right so like we have scott steiner he's in the steiner pack deals and stuff with the top dollar guys and stuff so for them let's say you want to do some changes here okay you've done your changes onto this let's say the character you have a scott steiner mode here and we have the same same file in the cake 59 so what happens is that the game won't load the one that is in the lower cake okay you see for me for this i'm using cake 56 for demonstration okay so this um also cake 58 let me just open the files that you can, so you can see here so yeah we have zero zero this is the folder that i have i just extracted the base game and i added the update files on top so you have in total you have zero 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 one fifty all the way to 59 so you can use 58 however 58 will get some issues with the texture okay same with the thing 53 also so if you can just um use the highest cake it's more guaranteed uh, your mods won't be overwritten because if you see cake 59 here this is update 1.10 it has you know some files here are newer than the ones that are stored in this one so sometimes that can cause your mods not to load but other than that as we wait for the cake tools update maybe in the future uh, it can fix that the texture is because the only thing we have in the console and the different from the pc is the texture thing i mean we cannot equip the texture files okay um let me just demonstrate what i'm actually trying to explain here and, and close that so you have cake tools i'll just try to open one cake file uh, let me just go to that location pretty quick uh-huh uh, which one is that let's say it's 50. so if i let's say i want to refer to something here let's say uh, the render or any texture okay. this is what we get okay so this is how the texture will look onto the game if we use this cake file okay some of the textures will be juggled up like this i mean it's maybe the compression of the um console version is different from the pc but it's something that i hope will be fixed in the future so that's why you know i used to prefer you know 56 because 56 doesn't have the ui folder basically the render stuff it only has some movies here and some showcase that makes it big so i hope this video has been helpful um the guys who need uh if you need um help in modding and stuff let me just know down in the comment section um someone asked me about i think the sound and stuff let me just know if this video you found it is being helpful to you just like comment and subscribe